started acting when I was two years old in commercials. And uh, I got a recurring role on How I Met Your Mother when I was six. Uh, from then I've been doing uh, TV shows like Awkward, Sullivan and Son, and Grey's Anatomy. And now I've done three movies. Uh, a movie with Jason Bateman called Bad Words. A movie called Get a Job with uh, Brian Cranston and Anna Kendrick. And a movie called The Inevitable Defeat of Mission Pete. Polly got a lot of good attention, right? Yes, it did. Those glasses are amazing. Thank you. They go like down to here. They're like coconut glasses. <laughs> Who picked those glasses? The, the director, Andrew Nachman, and the um, prop master, uh, Kaylee Heiholt. They, yeah, they thought it was the, the best glasses out of all of them. Did, any, did you think it was fashionable? Come on, be honest. I think it was fashionable. <laughs> Sometimes I was bullied a lot by kids, but um, not anymore, not really. I guess I think I'm now I'm older, I can fend for myself. Yeah. I started do, uh, preparing to do Polly's role um, when I looked at other kids in bullying and I kind of talked with the other actor, um, Hardy Gatlin, who plays Tony, the bully, and I, we kind of rehearsed over each other in the audition. And that's how I kind of prepared for this role. And I like to tell the, the story and play the different characters. They're all really fun. They're all really nice. And they treat me really good, too. I play the accountant, and uh, I gave um, the character Ming like, uh, the key to the Asian mafia. Yes, I did audition for that role several times. How did you get it? Um, I auditioned uh, for the role, Pete, um, and uh, with the director, George, and then he brought me back with the chemistry read for the other actor, Skylin Brooks, who plays Mister. And I think we were just a perfect match after that read. Pete is uh, he's nine years old, and I guess he's kind of like me. He's shy, and he asks a lot of questions, and I think he's smart. Um, but I really love about this character is, you know, his mom is a drug addict and she doesn't really take care of him as well, like, very well. And he just wants someone that he can trust to take care of him and he just wants to be loved. Pete develops a relationship with, uh, Mr. when he runs away to Mr.'s apartment. And, um, first of all, they're, n they're not very good friends in the beginning, but I think uh, when their mothers are taken away by the authorities because they're drug addicts, they have to survive over the summer and fend for themselves, and then that's when they really bond. Most of my roles were with Mr., but I did have some opportunities to um, shoot some scenes with Jennifer Hudson and Jordan Sparks. Did you scream and holler when you met him? Uh, no, I did not scream and holler when I met them, but I, it was pretty cool to meet them. You yeah. know, like, you see them, and now they're, like, right in front of you. But they were all really nice, and I learned a lot from them. Like I learned about how the way they act and how they use their facial expressions and gestures. Our director George Tillman gave us some photos and some videos of um, boys who really are in the projects. And um, we went to uh, Homeboy Industries, and he told us uh, the drug counselor told us about his story of how his dad was a drug addict and how it had an effect on his family. So that was very helpful in preparing for the role to get the feel for the character. Yes, I did get to go to Sundance. Just seeing this great movie that I, I worked so hard uh, with Skyland to, to make. I think it was really great. I just love the way it, it came out. Yeah. The audience, I think, yeah, I think they liked it. And I think, um, I think, well, people were coming up to me and saying that was the one of the best um, movies they saw during the, the festival. How is that with acting in school? How do you make that work? It, yeah, it kind of makes it complicated, but I, I guess I just do it one at a time. Take it slow. Acting, right? And I love acting. I love telling these stories. What do, you like, what do you like best about it? I just love telling these important stories that, that need to get out and playing someone who I'm not. I think that's the best. Telling so the a story. The more it's not you, the more fun it is? Yes, sort of. So I get Wait. to step into somebody else's shoes for a day. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me on this interview. <laughs>